Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new. In today's video, we are going to be doing something that is 100% inspired by Sarah Rose here on YouTube. She recently posted a video of products that she wants to use up by the end of the year. I think she posted 25 and then I saw Emily from Emily's Makeup Bag post a similar video, but she wants to use up 20. I'm going to reel it back a little bit farther and pick 15 items in my collection, both makeup and just like skincare and hair care that I would like to see be completely used up by the end of the year. I don't have a very huge collection and so I felt like 20 was kind of pushing it. I didn't want to force myself to come up with anything. I did actually have 14 and I did pick another one to get it to 15 but anything more than that just didn't feel like I would really enjoy doing it. Whereas I think that using all of these things up I will actually be like happy to use them but also happy to see them be used up. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. I will have both of those girls' videos linked down below, both Sarah's and Emily's, so that you guys can watch them. Um, yeah, and I'm probably gonna do more updates on my Instagram, so I'll also have that link down below, but I don't know. I'll probably just update you guys on YouTube once at the end of the year, but I'll post throughout the time on Instagram as I use something up. I'm gonna do it that way. So be sure to follow me over on Instagram so that you can see all of that, but let's just go ahead and jump into it. I wanted to pick products that I felt like were more than halfway gone for the most part because I tried a project pan on my channel earlier this year and I just really didn't enjoy it. So I wanted to pick things that I might actually enjoy to pan. So this is gonna be the first one. This is the mini serum foundation from Tarte. This is the Hydroflex. It's in the shade at 12 in. This is okay, but I don't really love it. So. I feel like I have a lot of foundations in my collection right now, so I wouldn't mind seeing this one be used up. And I feel like this is a pretty easy goal because it is a mini and I have used a good bit of it, but I do hope to use that one up. I also put both of my primers in this list. I only actually own two primers right now, but they're both like pretty close to being done and I don't use primer every day. So I did go ahead and put both of these in there because I would like to use them up by the end of the year. I feel like it would just be nice to be able to just pick a new one. I might repurchase this one from ColourPop, but I'm gonna have to be extra careful with the lid. You notice it doesn't have a lid, it's because it cracked. So these are gonna be the next two. Some of these are gonna be kind of easy. I hope you guys don't mind, but challenging project pans is just not my thing. This is a product from Tarte I've had in my collection since 2019, and I would just like to see it be used up. I don't really use it too, too often. This is their the Lip Architect in the shade Romantic. It's a double-ended lip product. On this end, it's almost gone. It is a like lip crayon. And then on the other end is a lip liner. And this is a very, it's a pretty bright pink. So it's, it's a very specific color. It looks nice, but it's not really like what I would consider to be like a more neutral sort of, sort of shade. So yeah, it's actually probably going to be a little challenging to use it up, especially the side that's the liner. I did put my two powders in this project as well. So I recently decluttered my e.l.f. HD powder, the one that's like a loose powder, because it just doesn't smell good and it's really messy. So the two powders that I have that aren't in face palettes are the two of these. This is the one from number seven. I actually just repressed this also. Um, this is the first time I've ever repressed anything. I also filmed a video on that. I'm not sure exactly right now what order everything's going to go up in. I do think those will both be up before this, both the declutter and the repressing video. So I will have those linked down below if they are. But I don't think this powder does a lot, honestly. Like it's not super pigmented and I think I'll try something else when I finish it up. I just, I feel like there's better out there for me and for what I'm wanting from a powder. So I do wanna use that one up as well as this one from Makeup Forever. This is just a little mini ultra HD powder, but as far as I know, Makeup Forever is not cruelty free, so I won't be repurchasing it, but also it's just like messy, <laughs> like the lid's closed, but a little bit still falls out. Um, I don't have too much left in this. So I don't think it'll be too hard to use it up, but I've had it for a while and I, I don't really like reach for it just because I feel like it. I just want to get rid of it. So yeah, I will be trying to use that one up. The last more like makeup-y item is this one from NARS. This is the Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I've used this like every single day since I got it. I think I got it the end of last year, maybe in November. So almost a year and I've used it almost every single day. There's a ton of product. I actually just took the stopper out, which was also in that repressing video. 
and there is a ton of product left. Like even just now, like when I kind of scrape the sides, there's just a ton. So I thought there was a lot less, but it is a really good value when you think about it that way. Nars is also not cruelty free, so I will not be repurchasing this, but I do want to use it up because I do really like it. Moving on to some skincare, I want to use up this product from e.l.f. This is their Hydrating Booster Drops. I was using this a little bit in conjunction with my moisturizer, but the more and more I use it, I just don't know that it's really worth it. So I do like it. It's a nice product, but it's honestly like, I felt like kind of expensive for e.l.f. Like maybe I'm just being like really cheap because I pay like $50 for my moisturizer, but this is like 10 but it seems expensive. I guess it's because it's e.l.f. It is a really nice bottle and packaging, but I just feel like it doesn't really do that much, especially for $10. So when I use this up, I'm definitely not going to be repurchasing it, but it's not like a bad product. So I don't mind using it up at all. I actually do enjoy using it. Product, however, that I really don't love that much is this Rainfall Hyaluronic Acid Serum from Fourth Ray. I just don't think this agrees super well with my skin. I just find that it sits on top. I have tried um, when usually I do this with um, my skin being damp before I apply it because it is a hyaluronic acid. I've tried it all sorts of way on its own with other things and it just usually sits on top of my skin. And so in the morning, I actually have to like wash my face and go from there because this will still be kind of like on my skin from the night before. So I don't have that much. Actually, when I first got this, I dumped it on my counter on accident when it was open and a lot of it spilled out. So that's actually why it's so empty, but I do want to use it up because I really just don't like it, but I don't dislike it enough to get rid of it. That's kind of the theme here. Like these are things that I will use that, but because there's so little, it's worth it to me to like use it up. Without this project, I don't know that I would have reached for it because I haven't reached for it in several months. I don't remember the last time I reached for it. A uh, makeup slash skincare product. I consider this to be skincare. This is the Milani SPF BFF. This is the SPF 30. I have just kind of slacked on wearing SPF. So I'm putting this in here to remind myself to wear it every single day. I think we had about two weeks straight where it just seemed like it was raining every day. And so I didn't wear a lot of SPF. I kind of got out of the habit. So that's why that's in here. I love this SPF and I'm probably going to keep repurchasing it. And there's not like a ton in here, but this is just really to encourage me to use it more. Next up is a eyelash serum. This is the Grande Lash MD. I have used up two full sizes of this and I really do think it makes a difference. I recently used a waterproof mascara a few times, like about three to five times over the last six months. And it just ruined my eyelashes. I used an oil-based cleanser to remove it. I I used the little like towel thing. I used my cellar water. Waterproof mascara is just not my friend. And I use it for several weddings and it just, yeah, it just, my eyelashes are like really short and stubby now. They used to be really long. Actually, I went to one of my YouTube videos from a few months ago to link it into another video. And I noticed how long my lashes were. I'll try and put like a picture here of that so you guys can see like the difference because I think just seeing the two next to each other, you'll probably be able to see like a pretty big difference. I'm not using the same mascara as that day. I was using the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara in that picture and I feel like that's my favorite mascara. It's so expensive and I had a little sample size, kind of like the size of this from Sephora, but I do think I'm going to repurchase that when I finish the mascaras that I have in my collection now. All that being said, I think that this really did make a really big difference in my eyelashes. I wish I could find the pictures, but at one point I did take pictures along the way of using this and I'll try and do that with this now, but I used to take them and send them to my mom and you could really see a huge, huge difference in my lashes. So put that in there again. I've not been in a good habit of using it. I actually saw Emily put it in her project. I thought I need to do that too, because it is so good for me, at least. I do know some people have had a reaction, so be careful, but I really like it. Next up is this lip scrub from Bite. I really like this. Again, I'm kind of putting this in here to remind myself to use it because I feel like I could really benefit from using a lip scrub more. Um, sometimes I put lip products on and it feels like it just sort of like sits on my lips and it can kind of feel a little bit weird, especially like in the middle here. And I don't like that, but usually when I use a lip scrub that helps. So I'm putting this in here because I just want to use it more again. And I want to use it up 
because I actually took this out of town with me because I've been trying to use it more and some of the like oils came out. So now it's been kind of like messy and I've wiped it off several times and then it's just kind of like leaking. But I really think it's because sometimes when I travel with things, you know, the elevation can change things. And I think that that's what happened. So I do want to use that up while it's still like pretty good. It's not too dried out, but I think that it's about time to use it. And I, I want to use it more. I really like that lip scrub. Next up is this little lotion from First Aid Beauty. This is their Ultra Repair Cream. And with the weather getting colder, I know that I need to be using more lotion. I'm really bad at using lotion, like really bad. I use it on my face, I use moisturizer on my face, but I'm really bad about using lotions on my hands and my body. So I put this in here because I want to use it up and it will be good for me to use it. So this is a small size, it'd be good to keep in my purse. I also wash my hands like all of the time and I keep sanitizer with me like on my desk at work. I'm constantly putting sanitizer on in between washing my hands. So they're always just really, really dry. So this will be really good to just like either keep like at my desk or in my bag or something where I'm constantly able to use it. On that same note, as far as putting lotion on my body, I wanna get in a better habit of that as well. So this is the Bath & Body Works Twisted Peppermint Lotion. I got this, I think, I think my best friend got this for me last year for Christmas and it's like almost gone. This is my favorite scent from there. I know it's fall, but I don't care. I can't, <laughs> you guys know if you've been on my channel for any amount of time, scents and fragrances really trigger my migraines but this is one of the only scents from bath and body works that doesn't trigger my migraines so i want to use this more and with the weather getting colder makes me think of like i know i know i know this is a winter smell and not a fall smell but to me it's all the same because i can't really smell that many smells so <laughs> or i can't like handle smelling that many fragrances you know what i mean but this was actually the 15th item that i added because I just need to use lotion more, but I really don't use it a lot. Like this is all I've used in a year and I do have another lotion. Yeah, I just decided to put this one in there because that one has a pump. So for some reason, I'm a little bit better about using it. The last product that I would like to use up by the end of the year is this leave-in conditioner from the brand Nelly. This one you can't find in the US. I got this in 2018 in Spain and I used it all up, but then I, a friend of mine got me the full size when she went back the year afterwards and she brought it back to me because you can't find it anywhere. And I feel like I've just been using it so sparingly. I use that to refill this. So I just wanna be going through this and it's a really good leave-in conditioner. So if any of you guys are able to purchase this, I definitely recommend it, but don't pay too much for it. I think I paid like three euros for this, maybe four euros. So it's, it's a drugstore product. But when you look it up online in America, the last that I looked, which it's been a while because now I have the full size and I haven't needed one, but I think it was like 60 US dollars and that is, don't buy that. Um, it is a really good leave-in conditioner though, if you can find it for the correct price. But all right, you guys, those are the 15 products that I would really love to use up by the end of this year. These are just things that for the most part would be good for me to use and um, they will hopefully encourage me to use them, which is kind of what I would want out of a sort of like project pan, but this is like a project use it all up. Yeah, I'm really excited for it. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I will be updating product by product as I use them up on my Instagram. So if you want some like spoilers before the end of the year, go ahead and check out my Instagram page. It's always linked down below in my description box. And yeah, I'm excited and I'll update you guys in a video at the end of the year how many of these things that we used up. With that being said, it's going to be it for me today. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I've got a lot of content that I'm working on for you guys right now. I really hope that you are liking everything that I'm coming out with. If you have any suggestions, be sure to leave them down below. But I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.